hello everyone hope you all are doing well so today we are going to do paper 2 topic 73 where we are going to discuss plant quarantine measures so what is plant quarantine a legal restriction on movement of agriculture commodities a legal restriction on movement of agricultural commodities for the purpose of expulsion for the purpose of exclusion prevention or delay in establishment of plants pests and disease in area diseases in area where they are they are not present so a legal restriction on movement of agriculture commodities for the purpose of exclusion prevention or delay in establishment of plants pests and disease in an area where they are not present i hope you understand what plant quarantine is now what are its role role of plant quarantine role to safeguard against harmful pests pathogens safeguard against harmful pests pathogens exotic to a country or a region you all know about congress grass how you can say that parthenium how it uh, came to our country as a, it was exotic but it came to our country and is now a very harmful weed of our country secondly globalization and liberalization of international trade of plant and plant material globalization and liberalization you all heard about the reforms lpg so here the words from their usage of international trade intn means international globalization and liberalization of international trade of plants and plant material in the wake of in the wake of sanitary and phytosanitary agreement under wto sanitary and phytosanitary agreement under wto so here we need plant quarantine measures regulating restricting the import of plants and plant products to prevent exotic pests to regulate regulating restricting plant and plant products to prevent exotic pests which can come through these plant and plant products to facilitate safe global trade in agriculture by existing safe to facilitate safe global trade in agriculture by facil by assisting the producers and exporters by providing by assisting producers and exporters by providing technically competent and reliable by providing by providing technically competent and reliable phytosanitary phytosanitary 
सर्टिफिकेट सिस्टम फैक्ट सैनिटरी सर्टिफिकेट सिस्टम टू मीट रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर्स टू मीट रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर्स सो so where we need to promote safe global trade in agriculture by assisting producers and exporters by providing them phytosanitary certificate by two certificate we can exchange goods as we will know that this is um, through our trading partners as you will know that this product is this product is safe there is one more role let me write it here prevent introduction of non indigenous pests and diseases prevent introduction of non indigenous that is exotic pests and diseases into the country or into the country or to intercept and eradicate or to intercept in adequate before they can wide dispersed and well established before they can wide dispersed wide spread and well established so we need to first prevent and then eradicate before they well established so this was the role of plant quarantine now we will see import flow chart of agriculture products and export flow chart of agriculture products first we will discuss import flow chart import flow chart first of all we fill application for import plant see i means import plant inspection after application there is import inspection import inspection so there can be two methods first after import inspection we can see that it is finally fine and it is that's so it is free from quarantine free from quarantine inspection passed and then we have issue of plant quarantine certificate then there is issue of issue it is given issued plant quarantine pqms plant quarantine certificate that yes you are eligible to export it or sorry it is eligible to import that you are eligible to import this material this is import flow chart not export flow chart but there can be another first we import inspection and we see that there is quarantine paste detected q means quarantine quarantine paste it detected in this import material so the entry will be refused then disinfection destruction and re uh, reshipment can be done first of we can do disinfection destruction of the paste and if they are not controlled by these two then we can also request for reshipment and in reshipment we will again check the uh, import inspection will be done again and if it is done uh, nicely then we will issue a plant printing certificate that yet it is the paste that was present was disinfected and now this import can be used so this was import flow chart now we will see export flow chart how can we export agriculture products export flow chart so first we will file application for export plant inspection export plant inspection so what will happen here export inspection and sterilization it will export inspection and sterilization sterilization subject to requirement of import company requirement of 
import country suppose we are exporting to america usa so it will have some import requirements that i will not accept this paste the label of the digital paste will be there the mixers will be this label so we will sterilize as per its requirements okay then then there will be again two methods first of all conformity with requirements of import country conformity with requirement of import country requirement of import country that is yes as the requirement of import country usa was needed you have passed the requirement it is good so you have passed the inspection inspection passed and here we will issue of plant phytosanitary certificate issue of plant phytosanitary certificate but what happens if there is non conformity we are not on the standards as required by the us or the import country non conformity with requirement of import country so here export will be refused so we will have to first treat the problems get the solution of problems and again file for uh, again file an application for expo export uh, plant inspection so this was export flow chart and we have all understand export and both export and import flow chart now moving on to next topic of this session that is legislative control it is the preventing the entry and establishment of foreign plant and animal pest preventing the entry and establishment of foreign plant and animal pest in a country or in a country or area and it can be also used in eradication and eradication or suppression of pest establishments in a limited area through through compulsory legislation enactment so you were here you also preventing the entry and establishment of foreign plant and animal pests and also eradication of those foreign plant and animal pests so this was why we need legislative control now what are the some pest regulations adopted in india let me read a bit pest regulations adopted in india so first one watch i will discuss i will give a list of some pest regulation you can find these things and write one two lines in it but i will discuss in it here federal insect pest act federal insect pest act of 1905 it was the first quarantine against san jose scale first quarantine it was against san jose scale second one which us plant quarantine act these were of britishers time when we used to import and export from countries like us and other countries 
डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंसेक्ट पेस्ट एक्ट ऑफ इंडिया डीपा डिस्ट्रक्टिव IP means insect pest. Insect pest act of India. It was of 1914. Madras Agri Pest and Disease Act. Madras Agri Pest and Disease Act. So of 1919. RHC of ground nut 1930. stem borer of copy in 1946 against this was against stem borer of copy 1946 and this was all before independence and after independence the major act was the insecticides act which dealt with quarantine uh, 1968 this was the best regulation set up in india so i hope you all understand this and that is all for today for any queries do comment if you like it please press the like button do share and subscribe keep making notes have a nice day thank you